How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another Stream Elements tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an image just like this into your encoder using the Stream Elements editor. This is a really good way for when you're trying to set up any of your scenes that you're wanting to use or if you just want to have a static image or something like that. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the actual editor and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, so when you're in the editor, what you're going to want to do is go down to the plus. We're going to click on static and custom, and we're going to go to image. Now here on the left hand side, it's going to have no image there. That's why there's no image here already inside of your actual editor. So we're going to click on set image. And if you don't have any images uploaded, kind of like how I already do, what you're going to want to do then is just go up here to the upload, find your file that you want to add as long as it's a PNG or a GIF or a JPEG. Once you have that, then you can go ahead and bring in the uh, image. And then once you have the image already uploaded and everything like that, then go ahead and select the image. I'm going to go ahead and reselect what I showed in the beginning. And it's going to be super tiny. So you can do have it where the image size is auto or you can have it scaled. If you have it scaled, then you should be able to just increase it however long you need to. If you have it auto set, then what it's going to do is it's going to instantly set it to whatever size that image was and it's going to stop it. So whatever size the image is, if it's like 1920 by 1080, we're going to need to remember that in the future. So once I have it set however I need it, I'm just going to go ahead and re-shrink this back down. You can then go to position, size, and style if you want to manually adjust this stuff yourself. If you want to mess with the opacity, if you want to rotate anything, that's fine. Once you have that all set up, then go ahead and click on save. Click on the little chain link here to copy it, and we're going to go to our encoder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And we're going to go ahead and click on plus, browser source give it a name, we're going to do control V as in Victor to paste. Now remember when I told you that you want to remember what the actual width and height of that actual image was. Now if it's going to be something for like your overlay and everything like that and you stream at 1920 by 1080, then this needs to be 1920 by 1080. If you're doing 720p, then you're going to do 1280 by 720. Whatever the size of that image is has to be what you're going to put for the actual width. And I'll show you why that's important. So I'm going to leave this as it is. And I'm going to click done. Now, right now, it's perfectly fine, right? If I go into the editor, and if I move him, say over here, and I save, and then I go back, now you can see that it's cut off. Even if I was to drag this out, it's because it's cut off. But if I go back to it, and I change this to let's say 1920 by 1080. Now it fits, but obviously this is a little bit bigger. So we're just gonna go transform, fit to screen, and now that's all fit to screen. So now you can see that I have all that extra space there. So that's why it's important to know what the actual size is so that way nothing gets cut off. But if you guys do run into that, just make sure that you have everything positioned right inside of the editor. So if I go back to the editor and I bring this guy back up here and then I save, then it should be right back on the top and everything like that. So obviously this photo here is not a full, you know, 720p or 1080p um, scaled photo, but it gives you a good example for it. But that's pretty much how you set up your actual um, images. and. It's really easy to do. I just wanted to kind of show you in case you guys use it for overlays because I use mine for overlays and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If this is your first time here or if you're enjoying these type of videos, make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, give it a thumbs up, and definitely take a look at some of the other content on the channel. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.